the most important thing I say, obey, obey the Lord. You know, that's just, I was reading, I read from Jeremiah 21 to Jeremiah 52. That's like Philippos chapters by the grace of God. Today, I had an urgent, I was like, you know, I woke up heavy hired, you know, and I just felt led to pray. After I felt, after after I finished praying, I was like, okay, I could just go on my phone or this or that. I was like, no. When was the time, when, when was actually the last time I gave my proper time to God? Like, spent, try to spend hours with God. The thing about us is, as Christians, that we are able to do all these things. We can pray longer, we can read the Bible longer, we can stay in the presence of God longer, but we're just not disciplined to do it. That's the only truth I've learned. Because today, I cover over 20 plus chapters by the grace of God. And I'm not saying to you, just read to read. But once you spend time with God, God can reveal so many revelations and mysteries that could, could also align to your calling, align to your life. That could even open you, open you like make you think like, wow, what can I learn from this person? What can I actually learn from these disciples? Because I, I think that when people read the Bible, you just read to read, but you don't understand that what these guys, what these people went through is what is what eventually we'll we'll definitely go through. These prophets, the disciples, they had they had ups and downs, but oh my days, they were literally sacrifices for God. They were so bold. It's one example. Jeremiah, oh, that book was straight powerful. Jeremiah, oh my days. One thing I love about Jeremiah, he was so bold for God. He will not care what a man think. If God said, say this word, he will say it. He will say it. Even the time, oh my gosh, the the time he he, he told he he, he 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 told people, God said, don't go to Egypt, don't go to Egypt, and they're like. And they're like, no, but, but, but if you go to Egypt, you know, in Babylonia, you know, it's it's destroyed. Let's go to Egypt. He said, if you go to Egypt, you're gonna get you're gonna get killed by war, starvation, or death. You're gonna get killed. These man they listen, what happened? That happened. This guy was so bold for God, he didn't even care what any man thinks. And that's the thing. Why do you care what someone else thinks? If God is going to do something, are you gonna step to it? I've I learned in, in that place what was the biggest point of people's downfall obeying the lord god has given you guys specific rules obey me god so merciful come to me but they didn't listen they didn't listen they worship all these gods but i'm saying your god could be your phone your god could actually be your phone your god could be money your god could be a girl your god could be sex your god could be fornication your god could be all these things that does not even focus on the place for god that's what i want to say guys search your heart ask god to search your heart Ask God to search your heart because I'm telling you, the heart, there is so many ways God can show you. One thing I, I, I kind of realized myself was that I started doing a lot. False lines so unprovokedly, just, just saying things that it doesn't need to say, like not being a man of the word. Like I'll say something and I won't do it. Lies. Now I'm deeper like, God, why, why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep doing this? Until I heard in, in my head, until I heard not. Empty words. I was like, what? Empty words? What does that mean? And then I go to Jeremiah 23, yeah? And I read that. I was like, wow. So basically, what happens in that story was that for, um, after, after, after I'm pretty sure, so after I'm pretty sure, um, what's it called? Um, um, in, obviously in Jeremiah, um, uh, I think, I think it's either Jerusalem or, I think it's Jerusalem or it is Babylonia. I think one of those, God, 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 God definitely knows. They, they have slaves. You know, after like six years, um, after when God fled and um, when God took Egypt out of slavery, the slaves had to be set free. But instead, of, but instead, what happened? At first, you know, obviously the the, the king, the the, the 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 king set them free first. They allowed allowed the, allowed allowed the slaves to go. And after that, once once they allowed the slaves to go, they now say, actually, no, 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 come back to us, and he forced them to come back and, and be slaves for them. God was angry. God was so angry. And then obviously when that happened, God said, "Okay, come. You won't, you won't give them freedom. Come, I'll give you freedom of starvation. I'll give you freedom of death." God was just spitting, but I said, "Ra, ra." It's crazy. It's crazy to say that. Oh, being a man of your word, obeying God is so important. God, God loves them that obeys the word. Does not if they say something, they do it. They do it straight away. But. Listen, if I didn't step into the presence of God, how would I even how would I even have knew have known that revelation? How would I ever, how would that that story helped me? How that I was given all these 
I kept saying false, false lies, false lies. I'll say it, won't do it. And these people did the same thing. And I seen the consequence. There's a consequence when you sin. Wow. And if I didn't stay in the presence of God, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even have knew at all. So much I to, so, so much trying to say. Spend time with God. This year should be the year you want to grow closer and take God seriously. Don't play with God. Don't play with God. Don't play with God. God, oh, God can show you so many things about your life. God can reveal to you so many things. You want God to trust you. You want God to use you if you don't know how to discipline yourself for God. You will never ever be where God wants you to be because it's not discipline. If anybody tells you that prayer is easy, no. Because every day you're fighting against your flesh. Because every day you, you, you have the option, you have the freedom to say, yes, I'm going to pray or not. Well, I'm saying praying is easy, but stepping into the prayer room is when I get high. That's the truth. That's the truth. It's a war. But once you discipline yourself, nope. You you stay there. Boom. Go, go, go. He says the Bible, draw near to me, I'll draw near to you. Draw near to me, I'll draw near to you. He who dwells under the secret place of the most shall abide. He who dwells. You have the option to dwell or not. It's he who. He says, he says all that dwells. He who. Discipline. Free will. God gives you free will. And that's what the Lord, and that's what people in. In Jeremiah had free will could either bring them closer to God or, or could destroy them and at the end ruin them. Ru Jerusalem got ruined. Babylonia got ruined. All because of pride. All because of ego. Guys, don't let your ego stop you from doing the will of God. Don't let your ego it's ego, it's pride. It's pride. You could think you're better. I don't need God. Hold oh, my days, you need God. This oh, all this oh wow. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus, man. I just pray that whoever's watching this video. Take God seriously. Obey the obey the Lord. Don't keep empty promises. If you say it, go and do it. Because God has humbled me. God has humbled me today. God has really continued to hold my spirit. And wow, let's stay and let's take time to spend time with God. If you can spend time on our phone, if you can spend time on the world, what about God? What about your Father in heaven? Oh, glory to God. I hope you got God bless you guys and love. God bless you guys. Love.